everyone, my name is Luke. This is beautiful Susie. Welcome to this episode of the Outdoor Gear Review. We are back today with another viewer mail episode and we have another explosion of packages behind us and I can't stop smiling because it makes me very happy. I get excited with viewer mail. <laughs> I like to see what we get. Do you remember the episode where we got nothing but coffee? Oh yeah. Yeah. I love that episode. Yeah, I love that one. <laughs> I tell you what, I love hearing from our viewers. I don't like the word fans, you know, that, that seems like too egotistical. But like you guys are our viewers, our friends. I appreciate every single one of you. And thank you so much for being so kind, taking the time, spending the money. It means a lot. It, it does. really does. Like we appreciate it. We realize what it takes. So thank you all so much. Yes, it doesn't go unnoticed. You guys are the TOGR family. Even if you just send in an email, it's special too. Oh yeah, you all are part of the wolf pack. Right. So lots of packages here let's just go for the gusto let's All go right. for the big one want okay. to yeah so this one comes from jason i need to put on my back brace to pick this up what do you think this is i mean look it yeah at... fifty dollars in shipping for this yeah i i have no idea don't open it from the bottom though from the bottom baby you're doing it oh yeah whoa whoa, whoa what is all whoa. of this whoa see whoa. how well that's worked out wow Jason, what have you done, buddy? Wow. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I like that. That's funny. So you've talked with Jason a lot through Facebook messaging. Mm -hmm. And he says, hey, my brother from another mother. Definitely. I'm sending you some videos and um, pictures of places I like to hike and camp in southeastern Arizona. Cool. <laughs> Don't get too dizzy watching them. Oh. They were burned off of Windows 7. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> The knives are for you to review, but there's three of one you can use as giveaways. Oh, very nice. Sweet. I'm giving them to you as I got them. Only one complaint is that they are not very sharp. There's a Lawson Blue Ridge hammock that he said he was going to send you. There's also other gear he thinks that you would like. So, wow, it's a wow. huge care package. That's awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Stanley for the win. We've really been enjoying Stanley products. Yes, lately. we have. Yeah, that's nice. <laughs> Very nice. Wow, Jason, you are the man, buddy. Thank you so very much. Yeah. I mean, there's all sorts of things in here. So Cook much. kits. Yeah. Jason, my friend, thank you so very much for your kindness and generosity. I cannot wait to go home and go through all of this. Wow. That is huge. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Wow. Super nice. Brother from a different mother, you are appreciated, sir. <laughs> Moving on. Psychic ability test time. Go ahead. When you squeeze it, you're not using your <laughs> psychic abilities. No, no, I, I'm using them. <laughs> I don't know, maybe some clothing. So this package comes from Ryan. Hey, Luke and Susie, I'm a longtime subscriber of the channel. You are by far my favorite YouTuber because you're genuine and do not sell products. Ah, oh, that's very nice. That's super nice. Ryan is being very generous. He bought an Outdoor Vitals pillow last year and it's one of his favorite pieces of gear. And so he has sent us four of them. Wow. We both can have one. We can give the other two away. We can do a giveaway with three of them and keep one. He says it's up to us. Wow, wow, dude. We can do whatever we want to with them. He just wanted to give back to the channel. Thanks again for the hard work. You're appreciated very much. Ryan, thank you so much, buddy. And I have to say the viewers are going to be thankful as well because we will do a giveaway. How incredibly thoughtful. I mean, everyone. That really speaks volumes about the type of people, the type of viewers that we have. So this comes from... <laughs> Denver. Denver. If it was Denver from Denver, that'd be interesting. But he's from, oh, he's not from Denver. Not from Denver. Luke and Susan, I wanted to tell both of you, thank you for giving me the motivation to get back out there. Oh, that's very nice. I've started getting back in shape and hiking again. So once again, thank you. Go, you go, dude. I've noticed that Susan doesn't seem to have a buff. So I got her three and Luke two. Oh, <laughs> that is so nice. So I get all the purple ones maybe? I would assume, but you can have an orange. Oh. I'll share. Wow. Wow. Thank yeah, you these are so cool. much. That is so nice. You're right. I don't have a bob. Right. Denver, thank you so very much, buddy. We appreciate it big time. This is super nice, super generous. Really? I can't say thank you enough. <laughs> it, it really means a lot, and I'm glad that you started getting back out there again, and I hope that you've been having as much fun as we have. So That's what it's all about. Next up, we have a letter here from Ronnie. 
from Belle Glade, Florida. Ooh. Not very far from where I used to live in La Belle, Florida. Looks like we're on viewer mail, Morty. Oh, geez, Ricks, that's great. Hi, Luke and Susie. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for the great channel, Ronnie. <laughs> Can we show this? Oh, that is so good. That is so cute. <laughs> now, is that a show? That sounds like characters from a show or something. Yeah, Rick and Morty. I've heard that. Rick and Morty on viewer mail. Congratulations, man. You got on the channel. So, moving on, we have a card here from... Bob. Bob from South Carolina, and that's Polly's Island. Mm. Postcard from there. It's pretty. Pretty place. Have we been there or just close? It sure looks familiar, it? Looks very it? familiar. So, Bob has a very important question. Okay. Why do you call it Taster's Nasty? <laughs> <laughs> do you think Taster's Choice is really that bad? Mm. I often drink it, and it may not be the greatest, but it's flavorful enough. Um, I enjoyed your interesting video setting up day camp in an ice storm. Thank and you. he remembers this proposal from the last viewer mail video about doing a Rodney Dangerfield movie <laughs> marathon. He likes that idea. Yeah. And he says it's great. Thank you, Bob, for writing in. And if you don't mind, I will explain the taster's nasty. Oh, go ahead, please. So to me, I would call it nasty. It's become this long running joke that we have. Luke is not picky about coffee. No. He would probably drink dirt in hot water. Yes and not care no i've tried to elevate his taste which i think i have and yes. all the viewers have sent in tons of coffee and we're all working hard to elevate his taste and the thing is is luke loves it all he, i do he does like really nice coffee he likes different blends but he's just not picky so taster's nasty has just become this joke <laughs> and i think there's a part of him that actually likes it I so do. don't worry bob if you think it's flavorful I think he does too, so. Okay, so here's a little insight to how I work. I give everything a name or a nickname. Right. And it's just the way that I've grown up. All my buddies were the same way. Everybody had a nickname. Every vehicle had a name. Yeah. It's like we have items at home that have names. Like I have a blanket that I call Snowman. <laughs> I have a pillow called Yellow Boy. I mean, it goes on and on and on. We had Moose the truck. We have Drifter the truck. Yeah, yep. so like when I was out in the woods, Taster's Nasty just rolled off of my mind. You probably put like three packs in one and it was very strong. Yeah, I'm like, and, Ugh. Yeah, <laughs> but the truth is, is that it really doesn't taste that bad. No, I, I like it. Yeah, it's you not do bad. like it. It's simple, it's easy, and you're just not picky. It's not my first choice. It's not. You take um, Trader Joe's coffee, mix it with Folgers, that's pretty gross actually yeah or if you mix it with taster's choice or taster's, taster's nasty is not bad i know i can't even call it taster's choice anymore <laughs> i'm just like taster's nasty uh, nasty it so, is so yeah i'm still waiting for someone to get a taster's nasty tattoo that feels so good, it does feel good. i'm sorry about the wind noise but it feels good maybe bob uh, can do that yeah bob we're waiting for that tattoo buddy so this package comes from daniel Yes. Is that right? Yes. At least that's what the label says. We'll see. I will go ahead and say, Daniel, thank you very much. Everyone, I apologize for the wind noise, but it's getting really windy all of a sudden. I think we're still going to have to rip that. So, Luke and Susie, the Outdoor Gear Review is one of my favorite channels on YouTube. You have inspired me to pick up where I left off as a kid and to start to love the outdoors again. That is what it's all about. I love hearing that. That's yeah. great. Yeah. That makes my day. Thanks for all that you both do. Keep up the great work. If you ever come to Northern Illinois, let him know. Starved Rock State Park. I like the name of that. That sounds good. He yeah. says it's amazing. Um, and he says, Luke, I've had an S-Wing hatchet since I was 14. Hmm. I'd still have it if it had not gotten lost in a flood. Oh no. So it looks like Dan has written a book here. And it's Ghosts of the Black Hawk War. Paranormal Investigator. Ah, oh, no kidding, Dan. That's awesome. Yeah. I called dibs on this to read, and I think this one is for you. Okay. Wow. Wow. That is so funny because I have been eyeballing one of these. <laughs> I was thinking about buying one of these to do a video on. Wow. Dan, thank you very, very much, buddy. Check that out, everyone. 
Wow. That is very nice. So incredibly nice. Dan, thank you very much, buddy. I do appreciate it. Big time. Big time. I can't wait to read your book, too. Yeah, thank you for the book. Very nice. I just wrapped up reading Interstellar, the novelization of the movie. Because the movie, the science part, doesn't make any sense to me, so I read the book. Still doesn't make any sense to me. Boring. I find it boring. She didn't like it. No, not really. <laughs> so for our last package, this comes from James. And this is essentially a package of vital protein powder and mixes and whatnot. He figured that since I'm out on the trail so often, this would help out. And James, buddy, I have to say thank you so very much, man. I cannot wait to get home, look over all this, and see what happens. I would say after the last trip you had, where you were having all that knee pain and all that stuff, this came just in time. Perfect. Good for your joints and stuff. So right. yeah, very, very much appreciated. Yeah, thank you so much, buddy. Now everyone, we're just going to wrap this up here. It's getting super windy and I hate having wind noise in the videos. I know nobody likes listening to that sort of stuff. So we want to say thank you to everyone. James, thank you, buddy. We appreciate everyone so very much. And we hope that everybody's taking care, everyone's being safe. Um, right now it's a pretty crazy time across the world with the coronavirus and whatnot. So everyone do your best. We're in this together. Yep, wash yep. your hands and remember, hopefully you can get out to the woods and get away from people. That's my plan. Yeah, that's our motto, <laughs> kinda, right? <laughs> right, we're staying away from everyone. A lot of states have been declared a state of emergency, and I know the governor of North Carolina definitely encouraged that you should stay away from crowds, social events, even church gatherings. So where do you guys go? It's the woods, the woods. That's where you're gonna find some solitude and get away from everybody. But yeah, just stay safe, everybody. You're right. Stay safe, everyone. Strength and honor. Again, thank you. Bye.